everybody. I hope that you can hear me. This is a, uh, I'm gonna look for a sign from Anne that the audio works. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, I see, I see smiling faces. Um, I'm gonna pull this down just for a minute. Um, welcome everybody to our 2020 virtual celebration of healing. It's um, kind of bizarre. We're all over the place, but we're still connected. And uh, I chose the music, if you logged on early, by Gregory Harrington, Without You, because a lot of us are living in a relative world of isolation right now. And um, the music was beautiful and soothing. And uh, it's his new CD that just came out. He played at a fundraiser. Um, and I'll get him to come back to Philly and play for our next fundraiser for uh, the Healing Consciousness as well. I want to remind you guys to stay muted um, unless you're asked to speak or if you have something really important that you need to say. And yes, Anne, I did record this, so thank you for the little reminder. Our, um, our time right now is kind of a bizarre time because everything is changing in our world. We are in the midst of a global pandemic, obviously. And as part of this global pandemic, what we're realizing is that there's this thing called extinction, which um, happens when people cannot adapt and adjust to a new situation. But all of you as breast cancer survivors are, have already proven that you have uh, what it takes to um, weather the storm and become you know, the fittest and the survival of the fittest um, as we move into our new normal. So on behalf of the HCF board and myself, I wanna welcome all of you to our event today. I wanna to express my gratitude because had the pandemic not occurred, I wouldn't be on this event because I had a, another engagement the weekend of the celebration of healing, but I wasn't obviously in Las Vegas for that either. And our celebration is really about hope and healing. It's, um, it's about um, as we move into our new normal with our COVID-19 global adversity, um, this is a time of massive, massive transformation for the planet. And we all need to remember that we need to take time to cry because when we cry, it means our heart opens um, and we're shedding those tears and allowing our heart to open to truly find healing. We also need to remember today to celebrate and to love and to laugh and have some fun. And we're all going through this adversity together. And I know that any of you joining us, um, you've personally gone through, many of the people on this, uh, on this event today have already gone through their own personal COVID-19. And it's making you stronger and um, have more resilience to move forward. So we're all being connected today as a collective consciousness. We're building new bridges between families and friends and colleagues. And we're recognizing that it doesn't matter if your surgeon moves across the country 2,500 miles away, you can still stay connected. And we're doing it virtually through social media and through Skype dinners and through Zoom dinners and through events like this for our Zoom, um, for our, our 2020 Jerry Thompson Award uh, celebration. And we're here to celebrate all thrivers, everyone who has gone through the diagnosis of cancer and come out the other side, not merely surviving, but actually thriving. And uh, last year's recipient, Patty Joyce, um, had chosen Josh Groban's song, Granted. And I believe that it really is very fitting for our celebration today, because there's a line in there that says, if you have a dream, go chase it. If you feel hope, don't waste it. If you find love, embrace it. Never take a single breath for granted. And um, at this point, I'd like to turn over the event to Jody Hutchinson as she does a meditation to get us centered and ready for today's beautiful event. So Jody. Oh, thank you, Beth. And good afternoon, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be invited to lead this session with you. Um, I, I gave it a little bit of thought. What are we doing? What are we trying to do with a meditation today. So I entitled this A Ring of Hearts. So even though today you're not able to give each other a hug or physically hold a hand, I'd like to, my prayer for everybody is to connect us a little more deeply through a meditation to remind us to keep connecting and to keep reaching out. Remember that old Ma Bell commercial from the, from the 80s, you know, reach out and touch someone. So Today, though, no, fine, no phone lines required, just the computer line and your heart. So all I'd like you to do is to sit, be comfortable. You can close your eyes or gaze upon the beautiful bare mountain on the screen before you and just breathe at your own pace. 
So just start breathing. And now we're going to add an intention, meaning that with each inward breath, you hold the thought to bring in peace, calmness, love, compassion, and anything else you would like to add. And with each outward breath, you hold the intention to release any collective stresses or strains. You can name them or you can just leave it as stress and strain. So as you're breathing, now begin to notice and feel your very own heartbeat. You might hear it, you might feel it, you might have a sense that there's something there beyond the physicality of a pulse. And I want you to know that there's a beautiful, luminous, soft glowing light around your own heart. And this too is known as a corona. Today, we're now going to expand that beautiful light out to today's Zoom family out to touch friends and family that maybe you haven't hugged in a while. Together, collectively, we're going to further expand it out into your own neighborhood, to people you may or may not know. Expand it to the businesses that you used to frequent, and again, soon will. Expand it across the state you now live in. Feel this corona, this sacred light, and now expanding it into the neighboring states around you, and then across the entire United States. Begin to feel or know that we are all connected through the heart and through that unseen light. So now, using the power of love, Release your corona around the globe. Reconnecting and reuniting all hearts. So now we're gonna take 60 seconds of silence to just keep radiating your own light, feeling the hands connect through your hearts. And when you hear the gong, Slowly open your eyes, reconnect to the present moment, and let these gracious celebrations begin. Thank you, Jody. I, um, I sent my ring out. I think it probably made it down to Chandler, down to you, Dixie. I'm not sure if it quite made it to Pennsylvania yet, but by the end of this event, it will definitely make it to the, uh, it'll definitely make it to the East Coast. So welcome everybody today to the event. I'm seeing beautiful faces on, uh, on the Zoom and I'm gonna keep it up there so that hopefully some of you guys will end up in the, uh, in the video recording, which we're going to then post 
Um, today, we're going to um, recognize first our survivors and thrivers. And uh, at these events, this is really one of my fun parts where everybody gets to come to the stage to celebrate um, their moment. And what we're really doing is celebrating how we go from simply surviving after a diagnosis of breast cancer to thriving. And that's what all of you represent to me. And the Healing Consciousness Foundation was created so that we could help illuminate the, the journey to healing, to help you um, light your way on your own path. And that's what so many of our Jerry Thompson uh, nominees this year have done is they've each ignited their own path in their own way, in their own time, and created just amazing, amazing shifts in not just themselves, but everyone around them. So this was our initial event. Um, maybe, I don't know if it was the initial, it had, I think it was the first event. Um, and this was one of our group photos. This, I have to fix this now because I'm learning how to use this. Hold on. There we go. And I'm gonna move this over here. Um, this was our newly diagnosed um, uh, survivor thrivers from um, our event. I believe it was in 2016, if I am correct. And everybody received a pink rose. And unfortunately, you're not going to get your pink rose today. So you're going to have to take it virtually from me. I'm sorry. Um, but that was our favorite part, was passing out our virtual pink roses, which are popping up everywhere for our thrivers from one to five years. And the cool part is, if I was really good at um, uh, Photoshop, I could have just moved a bunch of you into the next picture because people are moving from one uh, slide to the next. Our, our thrivers for up to 10 years, our thrivers from 10 to 20 years, and each of these groups is getting bigger. And now our thrivers over 20 years. And um, for them, I, I gave a whole bouquet because I figure after 20 years, you deserve a whole bouquet of flowers. So a lot of people want to know who is Jerry Thompson and why are we here today celebrating um, a Jerry Thompson award? Well, Jerry Thompson um, is an amazing woman who I met in 2006. She was a giver. And in 2007, a year after her diagnosis, she went to um, her company, Waste Management, and created a challenge. I believe it was like wearing jeans on Fridays. And we went to receive a check, and we thought it was going to be a $500 check. And at the time, we were looking for seed money for our foundation to be able to begin the process of creating the HCF. And we had gotten a $20,000 check from, an, from a um, donor that wanted to remain anonymous. And we received a second, the second check for $10,000. And that's exactly what we needed, $30,000 to begin the foundation. <clears throat> In August of 2009, they did another event. And Jerry um, gave us um, another, they gave us another check for $10,000. So, um, this was all about just her wanting to make a difference um, for the HCF because we had made a difference in her life. So fast forward to 2010, and the reason why Jerry is so spectacular, she came to, and this is her right, and I have a little way. I got really crafty last night. I have the new PowerPoint, so I had to show my, my skills off. Um, so Jerry came to the retreat in 2010 which is our very first one we did. And um, unfortunately, right before that retreat, she had been diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer. But when we got to Deer Park, she said to me, there are so many young mothers and young um, newly diagnosed women here. I don't want to share that my cancers come back because I don't want them to live in fear. I want them to be empowered um, to find out what healing is because it's not just about um, the cancer not coming back. And I thought that that was absolutely selfless of her. Um, we went forward after that and created a meta friend support group because Jerry knew that going to a regular support group, um, she said, I don't want to be a doggy downer, but I need to have support. So we created the meta friend support group. And in 2013, we did our first meta friends retreat of which Jerry was here at the event. Um, and it was in, uh, New, in New Jersey at the beach. And it was an absolutely beautiful event. And the funny part was we were staying at, it was at the nun's um, house for Holy Redeemer. And uh, 
Jerry had just come from an appointment in New York um, to see a specialist and we were having an Italian dinner and she went out and said, I'm Italian. There's no Italian dinner we're going to have without wine. So she got somebody to leave the compound with her and went out to get wine so that we could actually celebrate this amazing event. So what I'm going to do is now play a little video. This was uh, created by her husband, Bruce, just to let you know what the HCF uh, meant to Jerry. Jerry went through different chemos, different surgeries, and, and as you can imagine, it, it, it's not easy on a, on a woman going through all these different uh, medical procedures. And, and she, uh, she was able to lean on, on Beth and the other women in the foundation, and she never felt alone. Jerry was either on the phone with somebody from the group or talking with Beth or a, a spiritual meeting with Mary Lou. These meetings with Mary Lou, they were, they were great. She would, uh, she would leave the house pretty upset and she would come back with a totally different outlook, ready to face the following day. It was, um, it was important. She participated in the Meta Friends retreat. When she would leave for these retreats, she was really, she'd be having a hard time. And I always noticed when she came back, she was always in a, in a better frame of mind, more positive. She was better off for it, that's for sure. The foundation was always there and they were always in the background and they were never more than a phone call away. If, uh, if you had a problem, she didn't have to bear it alone. I don't know how she would have done it without the Healing Consciousness Foundation. Jerry was definitely a wonderful person. She was, uh, she was very kind and really cared about other people. All right, so I watched that video um, 10 times so that I wouldn't cry, and I cried anyway, so. Um, this is Jerry's family that came to our very first event. Um, we had, every year we've had family members at the event, including um, Jerry's mother, Helen, who uh, was in her 90s the first time that, I, that, she, that we had one of these events. Um, they're an amazing family. Uh, Jerry's brother, Joseph, actually created our, um, now it'll be the three years uh, of the events, um, uh, the pri not prizes, what are they called? The uh, awards. Our first award winner in 2016 was Blair Griner, who um, our, our awardees are amazing. And we really, I, I just, I want to make sure that we don't forget like every single person who has come through this process and um, given selflessly to others uh, needs to be recognized every single year. Connie Cefeli in 2017, Michelle Brown in 2018, and uh, Patty Joyce Gahan in uh, 2019. And uh, these, these award ceremonies are not just award ceremonies for these individuals because everyone going on this journey um, gives so much to others. It's just that the women that we're recognizing have given above and beyond and, and selflessly to try to improve the journeys for others. <laughs> so our award nominees for this year, amazing, amazing, amazing group of uh, women who I can't even, I, I'm glad I wasn't on the um, selection committee this year because I don't know how I would have um, even begun to make a decision about how to choose one of these women to um, give this award to. Uh, Mary Lou um, has been part of the foundation since its inception. Uh, even before the foundation. Jill has um, provided guidance through um, the support group and has been there every step of the way for anyone that needs her. Stacy continues to um, just be like the champion for the Young Breast Friends and uh, Carrie um, has 
stepped in in fundraising capacities in every aspect of um, of what we have done for the foundation. And Joni is um, spiritual guru, guide, advisor, and just a fantastic, fantastic woman. And this. I thought it was really important to see all of these beautiful faces together because um, this is the face of what the HCF is about. This is, these women exemplify um, what it means to illuminate someone's journey to healing and they all do it in their own unique way. Mary Lou is our first uh, nominee um, and these are all in alphabetical order. She's been a practitioner since October of 2007. In 2016, she received the Vision of Healing Award for her work through the HCF. Um, and it was given because she embodied the vision and mission of the HCF. She's lived in Bucks County her entire life. She married her childhood sweetheart, Skip, and they have one daughter, Jennifer, and her greatest passion is playing with her grandbabies, Logan and Gwen. And I just was in her house recently, and she turned one of her, room into the, uh, one of her rooms into the grandbaby's room, where all of their wonderful toys are. Um, she's been giving her gifts and empowering others to heal for the past 19 years. Her connection with the divine has allowed her to assist individuals in releasing obstacles as fear, anger, depression, and illness. She promotes the HCF every day. And um, she personally contributed over $2,200 to the foundation. But as a practitioner, by reducing the fees that she charged our um, women and men with breast cancer, she's effectively raised over $90,000 um, by reducing her fees. So she's a truly amazing gift. And um, she called me this year in January to tell me that at the end of March, um, in order to take care of herself and her family better, she needed to um, stop being a regular practitioner for the foundation. And um, I, I personally know that uh, we will miss her, but we will summon other beautiful souls to um, step into her footsteps. Our next, uh, our next Jerry Thompson Award um, nominee is Carrie Grunman. Carrie, I've known for years. She served as an HCF board member uh, from 2014 to 2018. She worked on ad advancing the mission of the HCF. Um, through her four-year term, um, even though it ended, she continues to support the, the HCF. She has come to our Breast Fellows Education Meeting to help educate them about the latest and greatest in breast cancer technologies. She uh, started the Journey to Healing program in 2015. She agreed to be part of the program and tell her story so that we could help others to understand why um, it was important to help donate to the HCF. Carrie and her husband, Tom, who uh, unfortunately recently passed from cancer, have been donating to the HCF since 2012. As part of her first leadership appeal in 2015, making healing a reality to raise funds for the HCF, um, she was a vital uh, participant and, uh, and also created um, and pledged herself. She was a member of the Majestic Dragons who have donated over $13,000 to the HCF. And she worked tirelessly to get us sponsors for our fashion shows. She's also organized Pinning with a Purpose. And uh, again, Carrie, another amazing, amazing um, individual who has given tirelessly to the foundation. Jill and Delicato has volunteered for the HCF for many years. She's been part of the Bucks County Breast Friends Leadership Council. She fa facilitates the new members meetings. She promotes the use of healing certificates and all of our practitioners. She loves the acupuncture sessions and um, benefits that she receives from it. She volunteers um, for our walks, for our fashion shows, and has donated to many other HCF events. She's an outstanding community educator um, on the topic of breast cancer and has helped so many women when they're newly diagnosed. She talks about her lifestyle and how using the healing certificates has played a vital role in her treatment. She's changed her diet, takes advantage of the exercise programs, and she is truly a huge role model for those newly diagnosed with breast cancer. Our Joni McDevitt. Joni, um, besides being one of the best yoga um, teacher, trainer, instructors, loving, caring person on the planet, she's been providing services um, through the HCF since 2010. She's a certified yoga therapist, an experienced registered yoga teacher. Um, she's dedicated and serving, dedicated to serving and empowering others on their journey through illness and health and wellness. 
She is a three-time cancer survivor. She understands the importance of holistic healing, is committed to caregiving through offerings of education and healing modalities of yoga, Reiki, aromatherapy, nutritional counseling, and contemplative practices of mindfulness and meditation. The integrative approach to healing the mind, body, and spirit has led her to a personal health and well-being with greater awareness, greater acceptance, and compassion. And our last but not least um, award nominee is Stacy Marin. Stacy is a leader in the, in the Young Breast Friends. She's the unofficial head cheerleader in Welcoming Committee, hospitality hostess. Um, she has been a breast cancer advocate even before she benefited from the HCF services and became a YBF herself. She's co-chaired, she has been a co-chair of the Couture for the Cure, which has been a major fundraiser for breast cancer organizations in the HCF. This event um, has provided Stacy the opportunity to raise breast cancer awareness in the community level. The Couture for the Cure events have raised over $61,000 for the HCF. Her artwork, her clothing designs alone have raised significant money for breast cancer awareness. She herself um, has had many peaks and valleys on her breast cancer journey, but she stays focused to so strongly benefit about the, to, she stays so strongly focused about the program. She wants other young breast friends to have a retreat where others can benefit from learning the skills that she's acquired through the programs, as well as experience um, the healing that cannot be experienced elsewhere. And right now I want everybody to unmute at the same time. I know I didn't get permission from Anne, but these beautiful women, these five beautiful women need a huge round of applause right now. So we need everybody to unmute so that we can applaud. Yay. <laughs> So um, right now, I know so beautifully well-deserved. Um, and right now I have, um, the honor, I'm so, I wish I was there in person to um, hug and honor Mary Lou Gilmore. Oh my. <laughs> Our 2020 is Mary Lou, you need to go to your door. Go to your door. Well, Scarlett, where are you? Hello? Where are you? I'm right here. I'm here. Mary Lou, can we get you on the screen? I'll give you an air. Don't come in. I'll give you an air. I'll give you an air. Congratulations. Great to meet you guys. So very, so very much deserved. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right, I'm going to try to get Mary Lou on the screen. Mary Lou, can you? There's Skip. Here I Mary am. Mary Lou, can you come sit in your living room and say hi? Here I am. Do you see me? Not yet. We're seeing a coffee table. A coffee table? Wait. Oh, you're showing that you're doing the other way? Is there a video? You see a coffee table. Yeah, I'm seeing your purple bottle and your coffee table. You've got to turn oh, it around. I don't know how to turn it around. But then go go to your coffee table. Go sit on your green chair. There you go. Oh, there you are. Now you got to get down lower. You got to sit down though. It's not. There you go. You got to go lower. We can't get it to sit on the floor. We can't. There you go. Skip. I can't see anybody. Mary Lou, we love you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Bill and Amy were just here, Bill Scarlett and his beautiful wife, Amy were here um, delivering flowers and it's been an absolute pleasure. To receive this, I just can't even, 
I feel the love and I'm so grateful. I'm so honored. Thank you. And, and I'm sure that every, all of your co-nominees um, will agree that... Uh, you have to flip it around? I'm going to try and flip it around so I can <laughs> see you guys. You've got to be able to push one of them buttons. <laughs> I want to see you all. If anybody would like to say anything to Mary Lou, um, one at a time, go for, there, there she goes. Here, here I am. Here I am. Hi, beautiful. Here now. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mary Lou. Thank you. Congratulations, right. Mary Lou. For Mary Lou. Well deserved. Well deserved. Well deserved. We love you. We love you, Mary Lou. Congratulations. We love you. Very well deserved. <laughs> I love you all. That's been the best thing. It's the love. The so ABM really is gonna miss you, Mary Lou. <laughs> I miss you all too, but when I think of you, I just think of the love. I just feel the love and it brings me such joy. I'm so grateful to have had this experience and to be a part of this family. Um, but it was time for me to retire. The numbers are up there. So it's time for me to take care of myself. And look at these. Are these beautiful guys? Thank yes, you. Yes, they are. That was so sweet. They are. They live down the street, so it's kind of convenient. And um, I just want you to know that the greatest gift you've given every single person on the celebration of healing today is the gift to know that it's okay to take a step back and take time to take care of yourself because you have given selflessly to so many. And the fact that you made this decision in January and as hard as I know it was for you, it is the greatest gift that you can give is to give to yourself because you're you're teaching everybody else that's true how to do it well, thank you i i feel um so blessed and so honored to be with this group of women that were nominated i just i i'm, I'm just so grateful thank you so much i love jury so much it I just know, is, felt it this is amazing thank you beth Thank you. Thank the committee. I, um, I just got to run the Thank you, today. committee. <laughs> Carrie, Thank anybody you. else? Any, um, Stacy, Joni, Carrie, Jill, any of you guys want to say anything? Yes, please do. Excuse me one minute. This is Carrie. Um, I am just absolutely thrilled to know, um, Mary Lou and have received so many treatments from her. She has helped me through some difficulties, especially over the last year. Uh, you know, this is so well deserved, and she is just such a bright light and offers so much to so many. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. Anybody else? Love you too. Mary Congratulations, Jerry. Well deserved. Enjoy your retirement. <laughs> Congratulations. You. you were one of the first people I saw when I was diagnosed and you made a world of difference for me. So congratulations and enjoy retirement. Thank you. I love you. you, Mary Lou. It's Joni. I love you. Oh, Joni. Hi, honey. Oh, I love Joni. you too. Oh my goodness. This is so wonderful. Air it's hug. In your face. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Oh, you always do. <laughs> Ladies um, and gentlemen that are on this, um, it, it's just been an absolute, um, I, I love that we were able to pull this off. And uh, I have to thank Anne because she's the techno queen. And um, I just want to let you know that uh, every single woman nominated is deserving of this award. Um, the, the work that you guys do on a daily basis to help others through this journey is amazing. Um, I am supposed to remind you now that we have a walk coming up on August 4th. <laughs> um, in Warminster, that we have a comedy club coming up November 7th at Ben Salem Country Club. All of the event information is going to be on the HCF web website. 
You can help support the HCF through the Amazon Smiles, choosing HCF as your charity. And as soon as I can technologically figure out how to do it, this event will be on the uh, on my YouTube channel, at Dr. Beth Dupree. And in case all of you want to come to visit me in Sedona, yeah. this is what my nighttime sky looks like. Um, <laughs> so when the travel restrictions are over, I encourage all of you to please come out um, and spend some time in Sedona. And um, I love you all very much. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Get out and enjoy the world. And a gigantic virtual hug. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Mary Lou. Congratulations. Yes. So well deserved. Congratulations to you all. all Very of the well deserved.